The Story of Young Detective Once upon a time in the peaceful town of Dreamland, there lived a bright and curious young girl named Amaya. Amaya was only ten years old but possessed an extraordinary mind and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. She was known for her love of puzzles and riddles. Spending her days reading detective novels and watching crime-solving shows on television. She also liked to walk in the woods and explore things. One sunny morning, as Amaya was strolling through the park, she noticed two boys talking about some theft in the city museum. Her curiosity piqued. She approached the two boys and inquired about the commotion. The boys explained that valuable paintings had gone missing from the town's museum, and the police were unable to solve the mystery. Amaya's eyes sparkled with excitement. This was the moment she had been waiting for. A chance to put her detective skills to the test. With determination in her heart, she promised the adults that she would find the stolen paintings. She reached the museum and using her knowledge of detective work, Amaya began her investigation. She visited the museum, carefully examining the crime scene for any clues. Her sharp eyes noticed a small, golden thread caught on the edge of a display case. She preserved it carefully in a plastic bag, knowing it could be an essential piece of evidence. Next, Amaya sought the help of Mr. Anderson, the museum's curator. With her charm and polite persuasion, she convinced him to share information about the missing paintings. Mr. Anderson revealed that the stolen paintings were ancient artifacts known as the Dreamland paintings, and were having a precious stones hidden under them. Precious stones are rumored to possess mystical powers and the price of these paintings and precious stones was millions of dollars in the open market. Amaya's mind raced with possibilities. Either someone has stolen this for money or for mystical powers, thought Amaya. She knew she needed more information to crack the case. She visited the town library and spent hours researching the Dreamland gems. She discovered that these precious stones were believed to grant the wearer the power of invisibility. The thief must have been motivated by the desire to possess this extraordinary power. Armed with this new insight, Amaya began her search for potential suspects. She recalled a local magician, Professor Magnus, who had recently performed his vanishing act at the town fair. Intrigued by this connection, Amaya decided to pay him a visit. Professor Magnus used to live in remote place deep inside the forest. It was dense forest and Amaya was feeling bit scared, but she continued. She walked through the dense forest. And soon she was able to find the house of Professor Magnus. At Professor Magnus' house, Amaya observed various magic props and books on illusions. The professor welcomed her with a friendly smile but denied any involvement in the theft. Amaya, determined to uncover the truth, noticed a small indentation on the professor's shoe, a mark that matched the tread pattern near the museum's entrance. 
With her heart racing, Amaya confronted Professor Magnus about the evidence. At first, he hesitated, but finally, he admitted to his desperate act. The professor had been captivated by the legend of the Dreamland Gems, believing that their power could elevate his magic tricks to a whole new level. Amaya's bravery shone through as she convinced Professor Magnus to return the stolen paintings and the gems to their rightful place. Amaya became a source of inspiration for other kids in the town. Hope you enjoyed the story. Please help to like, share and subscribe the video. See you soon in next interesting story. Until then take care and goodbye.